Hi everyone and welcome back to the Quebec Garage. So, what I'm going to do today with the assistance of my eldest son is we are going to work on this hot rod, the Nova. So what we're going to do is do the rear springs, QA1 shocks, new shackles, new spring pockets, bolts, the whole deal. So. We'll get the camera turned around and uh, we'll get on this job. As you can see right now, we've got the new bridge jack set up, the car up in the air. I've uh, stripped out all the exhaust so we can get in at everything. And uh, yeah, I'll get the camera turned around and we'll get working on this bad boy. And remember, hit that like, share and subscribe button and watch the video till the end. It might be one or two parts, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so what we did is we took the Sawzall, I'll just walk around here quick. The bolts on the rear shackles are, uh, are pretty frozen together. So what we did is we just took the Sawzall and we made a cut here and under here. And it actually broke the natural Loctite off. So now I can get my long reach on here and these bolts just turn like nothing. So we'll get these spun off and we might put this into uh, in the fast forward. We'll see. But I think you guys will benefit from this. So again, see how that Sawzall cut the, uh, just kind of broke into there and vibrated those nuts enough to let them loose. And again, I've got all new shackles and all new shackle bolts and you saw that in that, in that previous video. There we go. It's off. So we got that one off. So yeah, we've just taken the sawzall and we've just cut into there just enough to break the rust loose. Let's see if I got this going the right way. No, I don't. We'll get this one off next. And there's just enough knot clearance in here to get the smaller impact to work. Again, we've got the car safely supported on uh, jack stands and the bridge jack. and the hoist locked into this, this working position. Uh, next, what we'll do is once we get these undone, we will uh, jack, put the bottle jack under the rear end and take the weight off the rear end and uh, 
maybe support the rear end with some jack stands so we can undo the bolts, the T-bolts and the shocks and then drop the shackles out and then drop the springs down at the back. So we'll get that, uh, we'll get that set up and we'll bring you back once we get that done. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the lower shock mounts. I got that one off. And I've got to save these bolts for the new ones, I do believe. And I will come over here and get rid of this one. Again, this is uh, 11 sixteenths and 5 eighths. There we go. Okay, so now I will, uh, I do believe that's 9 sixteenths. We'll get up in there with a, uh, a ratchet and an extension and get them done. So we'll bring you back as soon as we get ready for that. So after a multitude of tool tries, you need a crow's foot and an extension to get these top uh, shock bolts out. Again, I put these shocks in and I honestly can't remember how I did it. But I must have done it like so. Still not loose enough by hand. Again, with the QA1 shocks, there's all new hardware for this. So we'll get these out of here. And then once we get those out, we will uh, we will get the bottom bolts out of here next. Let's see if I can get a crow's foot in here. Yeah, I can get a crow's foot in there. Just barely. Ugh. Okay, maybe I can get a wrench in there. A half inch wrench, we'll see here. This is a little bit more difficult. Oh yeah, okay. Let me go get my micro turn half inch wrench. I'll be right back. So, what I've got here are the Mac Tools uh, micro turn wrenches. So you can flip them end for end and they turn, I don't know, half a degree or half a degree from end to end. And then you can flip them like so. And it, they're really good to get into tight spaces like this. So you see, I could, I don't really have to flip this one end for end to get in here. Again, I can do like this. They work very well for this. I always wonder how the factory did this. And these cars ran down the assembly line. Again, they didn't have coil over shocks like this. They had a smooth tube here, so it would have been more than likely way easier to get it done. Is this one just about out? No, I can't get my finger in there. Uh, 
Nah, it's just about out. <sighs> Again, there's not very many videos on the internet or YouTube that really show you how to get in detail these springs out. I think guys just fight, cut, bend, do whatever they need to do and then they bring you back and the rear end and the springs and everything are laying on the floor. Um, I kind of wanted to show you kind of what kind of struggles and problems you may have with your car being, you know, over 50 years old. Uh, this would apply to Novas, uh, Camaros, Firebirds, all with this type of uh, rear suspension in it, being 50 years old and, and never being apart. So there we go, we've just about got that out of here. I don't know if I can, uh, yeah, still gonna have to turn this, but. Just about out. Oh. Oh, I think it's holding on by just a few threads here. Oh, there we go. So that's out. So now what we'll do is uh, I'll take the other side off. We won't show you that. It'll be rinse and repeat over there. We'll get that apart and then we'll get the shocks off and then we'll show you the next step. You got it going live. Okay, so we got to get in here and pry the shackles out of here like so. Okay, so that's off of here. And now the spring's up there like that. We can undo the springs and we can uh, let them drop. So that's good. We can pull this out of here. Like so. We'll pull this bushing out of here like so. So we got that out of here. And again, we can just leave this bushing here in this shackle uh, and then undo that spring off the rear end and then just, we can let them drop. So we'll do the same on this side. If I can get it out of here. Leave it in the comments if you guys have an easier way of doing this. We just want to get this popped off of here. It's just about out. Again, I might be doing this completely wrong, but I've got it. There we go. It's off of there. So I want to get my fingers caught. There we go. So that one's out of here, like so. Both and everything came out. Again, you know, these really, when you look at it, the bushings never really squeaked in this car. And look at that for over a 50 year old car and these bushings. Uh, I gotta say, except for the, the rotten end here, these bushings are in extremely nice shape. In a pinch, I guess, if you want to be real super cheap, uh, yeah, like look at, these are 50 year old, over 50 year old bushings. They're still pliable. 
They never squeaked. You could probably reuse them again. And uh, don't tell me that the gas tank has to be kind of half out of here to get this one out. We will soon find out. Oh no, sorry, I can drop this. Yeah, what am I thinking? I can drop this down and we can pull it out. So no, no problem. So uh, we'll get you back over here underneath the car in a minute to take off the bolts that hold the rear end to the springs. So now we're going to take these bolts out that hold the uh, rear spring to the rear axle. We've got it all supported. Uh, and these are uh, not 11 sixteenths um, fine thread. And I've got new bolts to go in here, T-bolts. Sorry about the banging. We got, uh, I've already taken one out of here already just to uh, see what they were. So what we'll do here now is we just uh, put one back on like so. And we got to get it, give it a drift with a hammer. We just pop them out. So these T bolts just pop out like that, like that. Whoop. So there, if you see that, it's a, a T-bolt with a serrated edge, and that's what they look like, and they just fit into those uh, pockets up there. We'll do the same again here. We just had to pop this out of here. There we go. That one's loose. Again, they just pop right out. This car does not have U-clamps in it. It's got T-bolts and they don't have U-clamps because of the brake line. So I think some of the factory cars did have uh, U-clamps on the one spot here. They rerouted the brake line. I'm not exactly sure. And they do make, when you buy kits, I think from other places, they have one U-bolt. And, and two T-bolts. Oh, I gotta crawl underneath here and get a better angle. Okay. Let's see if I can get in here. There we go. That T-bolt is out. Good. Okay, so I'll do the same on the other side. We'll shut the camera off, but I'll do the same on the other side and we'll bring you back when we're ready to uh, drop the rear axle down a little bit. Okay, so as you can see now, we've got a jack stand forest here. We've got the main bottle jack supporting the front of the rear end so it doesn't drop ahead like this. And we've got a couple of jack stands basically on either side here just for, just they're not on there, but the, it's just supporting this. And then we've got a couple of jack stands at the back here until we get the spring pocket bolts out, just so the, the uh, springs aren't uh, resting on the e-brake cable. So now we just got to get the uh, front pocket pieces out and these uh, rubber bushings in here. I do believe have to come out of here. So 
that just they just pull out again they've been in here for 50 years oh. again there we go so they just pull out like so and I've got all new ones of these to put in and these are actually in very nice shape so we got new ones of those again so I'll get the other one out of there and then we'll uh, we'll address these pocket bolts in here there's only three on each side they have clips and nuts or clips in here and if they spin apart then I got to get the gas axe out and uh, torch the heads off so we're going to try that and if they don't come out we'll get the gas axe out and we'll zip them off pocket bolts I know from uh, the fall when I decided to see if I could break these loose this one snapped off and spins but uh, look at that Well, got lucky with this one. I hope. Let's have this look at this one here. I've brought this one loose already. And again, I've got all new bolts and clips for here. I did see a guy on YouTube try to get this apart and he couldn't figure it out. And the bolt spun and he took his back seat out and gouged holes in his floor pan only to find out that there were clips in there. So again I have a factory book and it shows me what they look like that there's clips and uh, where are we here? Uh, right here. Oh. There we go. So, I really oiled these up good. They still, still squeak a little bit. I don't know if that's coming out or if that's just spinning. Oh, that one's spinning, I think. Okay, so we may have to get the gas axe out on that one. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side here and we'll try these ones now. And uh, let's see how we make out with these ones. Uh, oh, that one came out okay. You can sometimes put a pry bar in here and pry down on these brackets <coughs> and get these bolts out also. But we'll see. Uh, get up in here. <coughs> uh, I think this is. No, oh, I think that one broke too. Yeah, it sounds like it broke. You can just hear it snap. Yeah, it's... That one snapped off too. Okay, well... I guess maybe two out of six isn't bad. We're going to have to get the gas axe out. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, I think it's doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's spinning too. So we're probably going to have to... I'll see if I can get a... A pry bar in here and <clears throat> pull down on here and see if I can load them and we can turn them out. 
so we'll be right so guys uh we're back in the shop day two working on the uh rear suspension of the nova so i'll get the camera turned around and i'll show you what we've kind of got done so far so we've got the uh springs all blown out of here it's all done shocks are out so now we're going to uh clean up in here do some other cleanup again we're going to uh get all the new pads and everything set up on the new springs we've got the new pockets installed and the bolts we will get the uh shackles and everything ready to go We've got the new rubbers we've got to get set in there and then the shocks. So we'll uh, kind of bring you back here when we're ready to uh, start installing some of this stuff. But yeah, we're ready to go and get everything back together. Okay, guys, a uh, little bit of a problem. I ordered these uh, GM spring pockets and they're made to fit 68 to 74 uh, front spring eye mounting bracket so I ordered the left and the right and we had all this new spring and all the pocket and everything bolts all tightened up ready to put it in the car and lo and behold this bolt hole here does not line up it's half a bolt hole out this direction so instead of augering these new brackets out uh, we put the old we're going to put the old brackets back on and put them back in the car. There's nothing wrong with them But uh, yeah, they don't fit so again uh, Some of this uh, I guess Chinese made reproduction parts um, They don't work We'll bring you back a little bit later Oh, There's one other issue uh, With these brackets you should be aware of also it's where this bolt hole is. So this bolt hole is actually a little bit higher up in this bracket. So when this fits into the body, you can't even gain access to tighten these up um, when they're in the car. So again, uh, another problem with these brackets is this hole is in the wrong spot, which actually would more than likely lower the car by half an inch. So um, yeah. I highly don't recommend these brackets. So I'll get you back under here. We've got the uh, spring, spring pockets and springs in, in the car. So uh, that's all done. Got the uh, shackles all in, the springs hung on both sides, spring pockets in. So uh, Next, what we're going to do now is uh, get the rear end lowered back onto the springs and get the shock brackets and the axle bolted to the shock or to the uh, springs. So we'll bring you back when we got that done. Okay, so we're back here. We've got the QA1 shocks back in the car. The car is actually now sitting on its own weight. So that's good. The uh, shackles have kind of evened themselves out. So this is what it looks like under the car. QA1's in it, both sides. Uh, we've got them set at uh, 8 right now, so we'll see how it rides and go, go from there. But I will come back. We'll get the uh, wheels back and tires, wheels and tires back on the car. We'll get it set back on the ground. And uh, we'll bring you back to show you kind of how it's... Uh, Riding, but it looks like the ride height is going to be just about perfect. So we'll bring you back as soon as we get the wheels and tires on. Okay, the wheels and tires are back on the car, sitting on the ground. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but the ride height to me looks absolutely perfect. So uh, next thing, I guess in the spring will be a test drive and uh, to see how the so shocks are set, and I'll have to go from there. Okay, so that's it for the. Uh, Rear springs, shackles, um, shocks for the Nova. Like I said, the ride height seems to be pretty, pretty good. I'll have to take it out on the road in the spring and, and adjust anything. But uh, again, thanks to Spring Service for the springs. Uh, they seem to be really good. Um, OE or that uh, OER 
Spring pockets, not so much. They just don't fit. So I would not uh, use those unless you absolutely have to. But uh, otherwise, you know, augering out a few holes here and there to get some of the bolts to fit uh, was the only, only other thing that we had to do. Uh, you would see that if you um, did this job, but we did this job in basically uh, eight hours between the two of us. And uh, yeah, I like how the car is going to look. So again, remember to like, share, and hit that sub subscribe button. And thanks again for watching this video to the end. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later.